to Studio From Home from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. My name is Emma and I'm a gallery animator. And today I'm going to show you a fun and simple art activity that you can do at home. This activity is based on the artwork Shroud, the Makara Barnstead Building by Charlie Young. These four drawings were plans for a site-specific artwork where Charlie used the frottage technique to make direct recordings of the 185-year-old building in Halifax. Using fabric and printmaking ink, Charlie did a rubbing over the front of the building to record the unique textures of what it looked like before it was demolished. This technique is exciting because it allows you to discover different surfaces in and around your house that you never thought would create such a variety of textures. I encourage you to go into each room and look and feel for different surfaces. There's a lot of items that you might be surprised by the textures that emerge. To do this activity at home, you'll need materials that you probably already have around your house. The first thing is paper. So you can have scrap paper, computer paper, construction paper, and any sort of paper that you can find. But be careful not to get paper that's too thick because if it's too thick, it's really hard to show the texture through. You're also welcome to use thin paper, but just be careful since it's fragile, it might rip while you do your rubbings. Then you'll also need some sort of drawing devices. So that can be a pencil, some pencil crayons, or some crayons. When doing crayons, you'll need to cut the paper off the side so it allows you to have a nice surface that you can work with. You'll also need some scissors and some glue and some tape. As well, you'll also need textures from around your house. I found a lot of textures from in my kitchen. So I found things like this potato masher and this bag that you would use to wrap around onions. Okay, let's begin. Start by having your paper ready. So this is a paper that I cut, but you can use a large paper if you'd like to fill with one rubbing or many small rubbings. You can even use a darker construction paper. That just means you'd have to use a lighter drawing utensil over it to show up. So to use your drawing utensils, what you wanna do is you wanna hold it on its side. So that way you have a lot of surface area to be able to go over the texture. And so once you find different materials around the house, like this onion bag, what you do is you hold your paper over top, hold it steady, and then rub back and forth. For some surfaces, it's easiest to work on a tabletop. I brought some different objects here to show you what I would do. And some of these, they might turn out much different than you expected, and that's okay. Sometimes it's just good to make as many as you can and see what you can get. For some surfaces, it might be easier to go to those surfaces and work there. For instance, if you want to do your floor or your house siding or something outside. For those, I would suggest having a parent and guardian help you find the right surfaces. Once you've made several different rubbings, you can bring them to your table and start looking at them all. An image may appear to you of what you think these could look like. So this kind of looks like a window to me. Um, looking at this shoe here, what this might be. You also might be inspired by Charlie's uh, drawings and want to create a building. So once you start seeing things, you can start cutting them out. For me, this really started making me think of a building, but also maybe this is like a walkway. So I'm gonna start making a house. So as you can see, I've cut off different sections from in each of the rubbings. You don't have to use the entire rubbing. You can choose sections that you like. As you can see, I just used two colors. 
and you're welcome to use as many colors as you'd like. Maybe different colored paper, different colored drawing devices, you can even have a focal point a certain color. The options are endless, and we would love to see what you created, so please take us on social media so others can also see what you created. Thank you for watching this video, and tune in next Sunday for another Studio from Home from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia.